Okay, so let's move on to question number one, section B of 2020 paper one, integrated sums for grade nine in ten. Okay, so the question it is on a topic called the human body. The question is saying the diagram below shows the male reproductive system. The diagram below shows the male reproductive system. Question A. Identify the structures labeled H and I. Identify the structures labeled H and I. So part H is the scrotum. H, scrotum. I, penis. I, penis. H, scrotum. And I, penis. So part H is the scrotum and part I is the penis. Question B. State one function of the part labeled G. State one function of the part labeled G. So first we need to identify part G. Part G is the testis. The testis is responsible for production of sperms. The testis produces sperms. So part G produces sperms. Part G produces sperms. It is also responsible for producing hormone testosterone it also produces the hormone we call testosterone now they are saying state one function of the part labeled g so one function just say it produces sperm cells or male gametes it produces sperm cells or male gametes question c which structure in the diagram is responsible for the storage of male gametes which structure in the diagram is responsible for the storage of male gametes? So they're asking us to identify a structure which is responsible for the storage of male gametes or sperm cells. So male gametes or sperm cells, they are stored in the epididymis. Epididymis is represented by letter L. So the answer for question C is L. L, epididymis. L epididymis. That's where male garments or sperm cells are stored. Let's move on to question D. Question D is saying, what would be the result of blocking the part labeled K at the position marked X in the process in the process of human reproduction? What would be the result of blocking the part labeled K at the position marked x in the process of human reproduction so first and foremost we're supposed to identify part k part k is the ureter part k is the ureter not urethra but ureter so you know the function of part k which is the ureter it transports urine from the kidney to the bladder the ureter transports uh urine urine from the kidney to the bladder so if the, the ureter is blocked what would be the results so in this case the result is a uh, urine passage will be blocked from the kidney to the bladder so urine passage from the kidney to the bladder will be blocked okay urine passage will be blocked from the kidney to the bladder okay so in short, um, urine won't reach the bladder because uh, the path through which urine passes from the kidney to the bladder has been blocked at point X. So if you block uh, the ureter at point X, meaning urine won't uh, pass from the kidney to the bladder. So urine passage will be blocked from the kidney to the bladder. Okay, so you can say passage of urine from the kidney to the bladder will be blocked. Then question E is saying, Describe one way of observing personal hygiene of the male reproductive organs. Describe one way of observing personal hygiene of the male reproductive organs. So one way is washing the reproductive organs with soap and clean water regularly. Washing the male reproductive organ with the soap and green water washing the reproductive organ 
with soap and clean water so let's move on to question number two we are done with question number one